What's up squad? It's Shiny Rob. Hope you guys are having a super amazing day today. And oh, oh, what I have for you. I have the craziest leaks. I have the craziest, next season, all of Battle Royale as you and I know it will be gone. It's all gonna be changed. It's a completely different game. There's so many changes coming, so many things to get used to. Just, just watch the video, just watch the whole video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to these changes? I'm ready to adapt. I'm ready to adapt to all the craziness that's happening. As always, I stream every single day on Trouble, 4 p.m. Eastern, link is down below. Make sure to click it, follow me so you catch me live, but peace out, till next time. Doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. Okay, we're reacting to Squally now. Mr. Squally, Squally Meister. Join the family, but right. anyways, in the background, mm, you guys ready. can see weapon inspection finally the weapon inspect in the game, and this is so exciting because we have been waiting. The, the weapon inspect is so forever. dope. So to see it in the game is just an amazing. To inspect your gun, I'm really pumped. Oh, let's go! Bro. Obviously, we can see some of it is still a little bit buggy. Some guns are kind of bugged That's out. That's amazing. Some of the gun isn't showing, but again, what's up, Scrubs? see this coming to the game is so freaking awesome. And now we can finally have like an awesome view of our mythic, our legendary, or our epic skins in game, or just Frick the gun yes. in general. And I'm super happy about that. Gun so what do you guys think about this? Gonna be lit. Inspection finally coming Hi, to COD Mobile sometime in the future. Amazing to see. And then moving on, our new legendary soldier sometime in the future is going to be legendary Gunzo. And Gunzo. I am so excited to see how legendary this Gunzo is be looking because they can do some crazy stuff. With you, you know who's going to be excited about that? Parker. You know who's going to buy that in a heartbeat? Parker. You know who's pre ordering it right now? Parker. Legendary Gunzo. Bruh. Samantha, are you here in chat? Samantha loves Gunzo. Gunzo. And Gunzo, Gunzo will not come next season because next season we're getting a mythic weapon. Gunzo will come in season nine, hopefully. Season nine. Not for next season, season nine. Okay. Well, Gunzo the clown, that should be pretty epic. We're also going to have a new mythic for season eight, and that is going to be the M13 for Which runners. Is and also the assault the legendary rifle. is going to be the DLQ-33 Advanced Artillery. So yeah, we have some new skins coming to the game. We don't know how they look just yet, but we do now know they are coming to the game. We also have this new weapon prestige type of Watch. system, which is unlocked once you have hit the max level for Interesting. a particular gun. Okay. And then you can view this page over here for that gun, which displays the gun, the amount of kills you have on that gun, Down your here. precise kills, your most kills, and your most kill streaks as well. Now over here is a description Holy. of this mode. Uh -huh. Weapon proficiency system unlocks when any primary weapon levels up to the max level. Players can earn proficiency points by playing matches with the primary weapon. When proficiency points reach the milestone of 400, 1000, or 2000, players will respectively get a reward of a calling card, a frame, and a dynamic calling card exclusively to this weapon. When 3500 proficiency points are reached, Weapon rename function of that weapon will be unlocked, so you'll actually be able to rename that gun once you hit the max level of proficiency, which is... Okay, but like, who who wants to rename their gun? Like, is that like something that people think is cool, like renaming their gun? I don't know. Is that cool or something? Do it, fun size. I don't see how renaming your gun is like, oh, you can rename your gun, you know. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Now, in the background, you guys can see all of the different details and yeah. rules regarding weapon proficiency or weapon prestige for this whole new system. And how do you guys feel about this new system? I've got to say, I am pretty intrigued. I, I love think grinding, it's interesting. I think it's great. It's add like a whole new layer for grinding. I don't know if I'm going to grind for it because you're just getting to get like calling cards, calling cards and stuff. Frames and the ability to actually rename your gun and maybe some other rewards as well. It definitely does sound pretty intriguing. Now, also, guys, of course, the Katana Shogun, of has course. finally became its own okay, look, you guys care weapon about this. in the game, Katana. meaning we're now going to be able to grind camos for the Katana, which is amazing. And obviously, it's now its own weapon and no longer just a skin, which is great to Tay -tay, see. Tay-Tay, how so are you, Tay-Tay? Anyway, and I'm going to fast forward through this. There's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. Tay-Tay, how are you, Tay-Tay? The Nutcracker. No, who wants to rename the guns, man? 
Uh, okay, this. In the test server, go, go back so people can read. Go back. In the test server, completionist camos can be added to your legendary guns. So we're going to be able to put gold, platinum, Damascus, diamond on your mythic Holger, your legendary AK-117, legendary AK-47. I think that's dope. I think that's dope. And here it is in game a little bit. So this is the AK-117 legendary with a gold camo on it. That is like try hard on top of try hard on top of try hard. Not only did the person spend $150 to get the legendary gun, they're also a grinder and they got it like diamond or something. Like ultimate ultimate flex. That's pretty dumb. The gameplay here lasts for a bit, so let's just fast forward. Okay, remember Legendary Gunzo? I think they have like concept art or something here. Let's get this a little bit. Uh huh, the name. One one more scene, I think. One more. Uh the leaks expect right. He they're like they it may look like this. Yeah! Bro! Yes! That's freaking great! Yes, that. Yeah, go with that concept. That's amazing. I love that. Hell yes. Par Parker, I think Parker is gonna get legendary Gunzo and he will never change characters again. Oh, that's amazing. I'm down for that. Take my money now! That looks so good. Okay, okay. Oh, nope. We're gonna have a sip of water for this one. Ah. All right, you ready for this? For you guys that have seen Apex Legends or played a little bit Apex Legends, you know how when you're going down a hill in Apex Legends, you slide and you slide all the way down the hill? Okay. I'm not overly excited for this, but that gives even more movement in the game. So movement is such a big deal now. We already have snowboards that people go around the whole map in snowboards. Uh, something about rejecting now. In warfare, the huge now changes. Let's discuss BR changes. Let's talk about and it. And as you guys can see, the health system has received a big revamp for season eight. Right down here. So essentially. This is kind of like a combination right of the COD Mobile health system right here. and the Warzone health system. So we're gonna have two bars. The one on the bottom being the white bar is gonna be your actual character's health. Uh -huh. And the bar on top is gonna be armor health. So the white bar being normal HP Similar goes to up Warzone. to 100 HP and the orange bar goes up to a max of 200 HP, meaning you're gonna have a max of 300 HP in total. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's break it down. Vest break fast like Warzone 2. Striker ground, maybe. So it's similar to Warzone. So he just said, he just said that your max HP is going to be 300 instead of 150. So that means that now people have to do 300 points of damage to kill you, right? HSO still one shot, I know. So now you're gonna live a lot longer. It's gonna be a lot harder to knock people. That already is changing so much of the way we play BR. You're about to destroy people with a striker, but, but, HSL is still gonna be meta, but, but, sounds like he's using cheat codes. Now, let's discuss these bars in some more detail, starting with the white bar being your player's health. 
you will only take damage towards your player health if your armor has been completely destroyed. So let's say you have no armor left and uh -huh. you are being shot at and your health is going down. How uh -huh. do you repair or regenerate you your just breathe. health? You, you breathe bar. through the nose. This will actually auto regenerate you like a multiplayer yeah. after about five yeah. seconds. If you stay out of danger, you don't get hit with any bullets, it'll repair itself after about five seconds, which I am super excited about. Course, you're I like always to change excited, over here quite a bit. Now we have the orange bar being your armor bar. Now, how does this work? So as you guys can see, we have a total of four mini bars in the main bar. Uh -huh. Each mini bar indicating 50 HP, equaling a total of 200 HP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, how do you fill that bar up and add to your armor? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have three different types of armor. Mm -hmm. Firstly, we do have the small armor. Okay, so he's talking about the small armor, but they're showing a hemostatic. I assume that's because this is the test server and it's supposed to be like, you know, like a green plate or whatever. So I assume it's not gonna be a hemostatic. This adds a total of 50 armor HP every time you do go ahead and use it, but it does cap out at 150. Then we do have the normal armor. Normal armor, and he's showing a first aid kit. Again, I assume that's just cause it's the test server. So I hope it's gonna be armor plates that are in different colors, I hope. And this will add 150 armor to your bar, but it also does cap out at 150. Mm -hmm. And then we do have the extra armor, and this allows you to take the bar all the way up to 200 HP for your armor. So as you guys can see, you can only get to 200 HP for the armor if you do use extra armor. So that is the new health system coming to Card Mobile in That's Season wild. 8. Do you guys like that or not? Let yes. me know down below. Yes. Now, guns have also received quite an interesting Also change. this. So, floor loot will now work in the following way. We will be able to pick up mods. Every gun can have a total of right three mods and one sight on that gun. Now a these key. mods are going to have different rarities from a normal grey rarity to green to blue to epic as well as legendary and all of these are going to have different attributes and different stats allowing you to improve your gun's performance. Uh -huh. Just to name a few, ones that do increase your range or decrease your lateral recoil so or your vertical recoil or to actually improve your hip fire accuracy and HSO it will be a lot more available as floor loot in the game and you can also put a scope on your actual gun so Ooh. that's going to be how floor loot is going to work in br and how you can customize your gun to improve its stats using mods so what do you guys think about that let me know down below now next we are going to have backpacks more than one oh, type of I forgot about that so firstly your base storage or inventory is only gonna allow for four. Four. Your base storage is four. <laughs> you can only carry four things. Items. <laughs> now we can find a level two backpack, a blue backpack, and it'll increase your inventory size to six. They can also find nice. an epic backpack, a purple backpack, and that's gonna increase your inventory size to eight. Eight is gonna be the max size you can increase your inventory Only size. Only eight. Too. Let's talk airdrops. First Choose wisely. One. Oh yeah, there's also different air. Dude, the whole game is different. The whole game is different, bro. Marked as green. In here, you can find operator skills, legendary mods, extra armor, ammo, and FHJ, and a level three backpack, but you cannot find oh, yeah. custom loadouts. Uh -huh. Now over here, we have the silverish gray airdrop marked as blue and in here you can find custom loadouts and that is all you can find in this airdrop over here and like always you can only take one gun out of this airdrop so the, so now there's gonna be two different airdrops there's two different airdrops how do you get this airdrop and the other airdrop do they just land can, can you can you do it like warzone and like buy one and like throw it on the floor to get your gun there's so many questions we also have this new panel, which allows you to swap items this is in good. and out of your inventory quickly if That's it good, is you swap. full. So what you do is, you click on the item you want to add into your inventory, and then you click on the item on the panel, which you do want to swap out for the new item, and it is going to swap them around for a nice, quick, and easy swap, which is neat. On the minimap, the choppers will be displayed, and also, it looks like only two choppers will be available in a BR map. What do you mean two, Squally? What do you mean two? 
you, you guys can see my green cursor. There's one at Harbor. There's one at Nuketown. And there's one at Practice. There's three. Okay, I like the fact that, that they're marking the chopper. Um, it's a little worrisome that there's three. There's just three. Why is there so little? If they if they do limit the choppers, that means we have to use more cars. I don't want to use cars. I'm gonna use a chopper. I'm gonna chopper, bro. Or well, at least that's what it does seem like. Now this is super exciting and very interesting. So currently in the beta, if we go to battle royale game modes, it uh -huh. says Horizon uh -huh. isolated. And if you go into a game, it is normal battle royale, but in the first opening scene, uh -huh. the screen like freezes on a random image and it does say new Horizon. Yeah, so yeah, what yeah, does yeah, this yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, Could yeah, yeah, yeah. we be getting a new version of yeah, Isolated, yeah, 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 yeah. update version, or is it a new map? Is it a new mode? What is this going to oh. be? What do you guys well, wait, think? Let me know down below. But what is interesting in the files, there is the following. Save Isolated final video mm -hmm. and save isolated start video mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. are we gonna have a live event where we have to save I isolated so. and from what are we saving it what is going on and what's even more interesting over on youtube cod mobile likes a comment of somebody saying we oh, need a new COD battle like the comment. map this oh, okay. is all super exciting i cannot now wait to sense. see what is going to be happening in battle royale obviously right now we don't know but it almost seems like we're gonna have some sort of event where we have to save isolate saving it from gunzo oh lot. my god Who yes knows? if we don't imagine save it, what happens do we maybe get a new version of isolated or a new battle royale map who knows we don't have answers right now.